so in this tutorial we're actually building a 3-bit synchronous binary up counter okay 3-bit synchronous binary up counter again up counter means we're going from low to high okay so from 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 and so on okay so once we get this question this is a 3-bit synchronous binary up counter at first we'll create the diagram okay since we it's saying uh, that we need to build a uh, circuit for 3-bit that means we'll have uh, that means we'll have eight different combinations okay so using three bits we can have eight different combinations and we are creating the up counter design here from 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 uh, 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 7 and eventually 7 to 0 again okay so this is the uh, counter diagram counter state diagram okay so once we get the state diagram then we can actually build a uh, um, state table from this state diagram right so since uh, we're uh, building it for three bits so in the present state part there would be three variables so a2 a1 a0 next state three variables again a2 plus a1 plus and a0 plus so here from zero if the present state is zero then next state is zero zero one if the present state is zero zero one then next state is zero one zero so just like the diagram just following the diagram we can exactly put values in this state table okay so we can do this part just by following the diagram so once we're done with this part then we'll write the flip-flop inputs since we're uh, creating the circuit for three bits so we'll need three separate flip-flops and we have to uh, use t flip-flops here as per the question so uh, in t flip-flops there is only one input in one flip-flop so if we use three flip-flops so uh, we'll need three inputs so just to distinguish among them uh, we'll denote them as ta2 ta1 and ta0 all right so three separate columns ta2 ta1 ta0 and how can we uh, fill those columns using the excitation table of t flip-flop so this is the excitation table of t flip-flop so let's consider one uh, random example uh, let's consider uh, ta2 okay so for the first row here when i calculate ta2 remember i only need to consider a2 and a2 plus nothing related to a1 or a0 okay again when i will calculate the ta2 one then I'll only consider everything related to uh, a1 okay so a1 and a1 plus I will not consider a2 or a0 okay so think about that and remember that okay so since I'm calculating ta2 so I'll only consider a2 and a2 plus so the present state is 0 and the next state is 0 if the present state is 0 and the next state is 0 then I'll go to the excitation table and find out the combination so here the combination says if the present state is 0 and the next state is 0 then flip-flop input would be 0 okay so that's why I've put 0 here okay let's try out another combi random combination so let's say this one okay so here uh, the present state is 1 and next state is 1 so I'll go back to the excitation table and I'll see if the present state is 1 and next state is 1 then uh, flip-flop input is 0 so here you can see I've put 0 as the flip-flop input so just by following this uh, rule we can complete this whole column and we can do the same for ta1 and ta0 okay so once we are done uh, filling up all those columns then we'll build kmaps so we'll build kmaps for the flip-flop inputs only so there are three separate flip-flop input columns so we'll build three kmaps and the inputs would be the present states only so there are three present states uh, there are three variables in present states a2 a1 and a0 so uh, these three inputs uh, would be uh, these three variables would be the three inputs for the kmaps so we'll build the kmaps accordingly and we'll put the ones and we'll do the groupings and, and we'll find out the functions okay so once we get the functions then we can actually build the circuit okay just like the previous one when we designed a two-bit synchronous counter so once we get the equations then we can clearly build the circuit so this is how you can build the circuit for a three-bit synchronous up counter okay so similarly you can actually build a four bit synchronous up counter so here the diagram is not given and the state table is not given but you can actually build it yourself okay so in case of four bit you will have 16 combinations right so your uh, di state diagram would look like something like this from 0000, zero, zero, zero you will go to 0001 zero, 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 and then uh, from there you will go to 0010 zero, 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 and so on okay so 
in case of four bit synchronous sub counter your diagram will look like this uh, so there would be six, uh, there would be uh, 16 combinations and then you will build the state table from that and then uh, uh, you'll just follow the same procedure as the 2-bit or 3-bit counters and once you get the k-maps uh, then you'll get some equations and the equations will uh, the equations uh, would look like these equations and once you there uh, once you get these equations then you will be able to build the whole circuit for the 4-bit synchronous up counter so hope you understand thank you everyone